Hello everyone. Today we will learn about the operating mechanism of circuit breakers. Today we will focus on three aspects: the function and requirements of the operating mechanism, the types and models of operating mechanisms, the structural composition of the operating mechanisms. The operating mechanism is an important component of the circuit breaker, as shown in in the figure. It is an independent mechanical operating device that operates the circuit breaker outside the circuit breaker body. The function of the operating mechanism is to convert other forms of energy into mechanical energy, so that the circuit breaker can accurately perform opening and closing operations to meet the needs of the field. The operating me mechanism of the circuit breaker. Should meet the following basic requirements: it should have sufficient closing capability. The closing operation should have enough closing force to reliably close the circuit breaker, not only under normal conditions but also when closing a faulted line, overcoming the obstruction of short circuit electric dynamic force to reliably close the circuit breaker. It should have reliable holding cap capability after closing. After the closing action is completed, it should reliably hold the circuit breaker in the closed position, so that the contacts do not separate due to electrodynamic force or mechanical vibration. It should have a short opening time. It should be capable of remote, local. Manual and quick electric opening, requiring fast opening speed and short opening time. There should be an anti-pumping device to prevent the circuit breaker when encountering a fault from experiencing continuous open close open close pumping phenomena. This continuous pumping not only can cause several damage. To the circuit breaker mechanism, or even cause an explosion, but also can cause multiple fault current impacts on the power system, easily leading to system oscillations. It should have an interlock function so that the mechanism cannot perform related operations when conditions are not met. For example, closing and opening position interlocks. High and low pressure hydraulic interlocks and closing springs position interlocks in spring operated mechanisms. There are five types of operating mechanisms: manual, electrical, magnetic, spring, hydraulic, and pneumatic pneumatic operating mechanisms. The manual operating mechanism is a mechanism that. Directly uses human power to close the circuit breaker. Its characteristics is is a simple structure, but the operational reliability varies from person to person, making it unsafe. It is used in places with a short circuit capacity of twelve kilovolt and below. The electrical magnetic operating mechanism uses the electrical Magnetic force generated by a DC solenoid to close the circuit breaker with a stored energy spring for opening. It has a simple structure, works reliably, and has a low manufacturing cost. However, its closing coil consumes a lot of power. Parts are easily damaged. It is heavy and has a long closing time. It is used for circuit breakers of 110 kilovolt and below. The spring mechanism uses a stored energy spring to perform the opening and closing operations of the circuit breaker. It has a fast opening and closing speed. Small motor power can be used with both AC and DC. Complex structure requires high machining precision. It is used for circuit breakers of 220 kilovolt and below. 
The hydraulic op operating mechanism uses high pressure oil to push the piston to perform the opening and closing operations. It acts quickly, operates smoothly, requires small DC power, can still operate several times even if the power is lost for a short time. It is expensive, requires strict process, and is used for circuit breakers of 220 kV and above, especially for extra high voltage circuit breakers. The pneumatic mechanism uses compressed air to push the piston to perform the opening and closing operations. It is used for circuit breakers of 220 kV and below, and is particularly suitable for places with air compression equipment. Next, we will understand the meaning of the model of the mechanism. The model of the operating mechanism is generally represented by five characters. The first is the product name. The operating mechanism is represented by the first letter C in pinyin. The second is the operating method, represented by the first letter in pinyin S manual. D, 电磁, electric, magnetic. T, 弹簧, spring. Q, 气动, pneumatic. Y, 液压, hydraulic. The third part is the design series number. The fourth part is other marks, such as G, improved type, X, operating mechanism with box. The fifth part is the characteristic number, generally electric, magnetic, hydraulic, spring, manual mechanisms are characterized by the maximum closing torque they can ensure. Pneumatic mechanisms are characterized by the di diameters of their pistons in millimeter. For example, CD2 is an electric magnetic operating mechanism with design number 2. CY3 is a hydraulic operating mechanism with design number 3. Finally, we will understand the structure of the operating mechanism. The main components of different types of mechanisms are the same. They mainly include five parts. Energy storage part, energy conversion part, including energy storage spring, energy storage mechanism, motor, oil pump, pressure storage cylinder, etc. Holding mechanism, supporting frame or other holding devices, holding valve and corresponding high pressure oil, replenishment circuit, opening and closing part. For mechanical operating mechanisms, it refers to the opening and closing trip device and the corresponding linkage system. For hydraulic or pneumatic operating mechanisms, it refers to the opening and closing valve and the corresponding valve system. Output device, the main shaft of electric magnetic, spring operating mechanisms or the piston rod of hydraulic, pneumatic structures, auxiliary part, auxiliary switch, intermediate relay, contractor and other auxiliary components forming the signal and production circuit. Today's lesson ends here. Thank you, everyone.